All right, take a look. This is going into the season, according to the Shredder, the infamous Shredder, the top 10 center fielders right now. Of course, you know, the well-known names, Mike Trout, Buxton, and Julio Rodriguez at the top. But look at the bottom, well, bottom two. Mike Yastrzemski, I think some people might be surprised there. And also Chaz McCormick. Yep. And Dero, Chaz McCormick, listen, he made maybe the greatest catch in the history of the Astros organization show it. in the World Series. But offensively, he has found something at the plate. What is he doing? Robert, we fell in love with this guy when we went to Fenway Park. You yes, remember that's we right. We took our little show on the road. Yeah, I remember Warren that. was doing the postseason. Chaz McCormick came on, went to Millersville in Pennsylvania, scored 1,000 points in hoops in high school. Mm -hmm. Kid's an athlete, and he's got an infectious personality. And I wanted to give him love because they've been without Jordan. They've been without a healthy Altuve. For the majority of time, Kyle Tucker has carried them. Alex Bregman's changed his swing and has gotten hot. But he's played in some of the games – where you can ha if you can handle it or if you can't and he's proven he can handle the moment and offensively he's slowly taking a step forward and I want to get into it and give him some love right here because what we remember from Chaz is not these big bombs to all parts of the field what we remember is the game five JT Rio Muto catch that looked like there he is doing a Miles Sanders because <laughs> he's from Philly right here. This is what we remember. Oh, what a play right there. Going back to your basketball roots, timing it and going for layup drill right there. But offensively, he has been a force for this team. So pause this. Bring me up the weighted runs created plus leaderboard since June, since the start of June. Otani uh, again. Excuse me. I know. Seeger, Edward Julian, Kyle Tucker, and there's Chaz McCormick, 178. So what has he done differently throughout the course of his career? Bring up the try screen for me. All right, take a look, right? He's always a guy that's kind of closed himself off. Look at the amount of number 20 to the back of the pitcher, right? So he's showing almost his entire number. <coughs> Slowly in 2023, started to correct that and get tall a little bit. I want you to leave this here right now. Chipper Jones used to talk about all the time with me, and this goes back to the kids, youth baseball. What is your stock swing? What do you do without thinking? Kids are gonna get in a box, and I've worked with Lauren, I've worked with Robert. I was a guy that when I first started playing Little League, right center was an easy move for me. My power was there, my swing presented there. When I started pro ball, within two weeks, playing the Bo Boise Hawks, they had their entire outfield standing on the right field line because that was my move to go the other way. That was my stock move. Some kids get in a box and everything's hooked and pulled down the left field line. I don't know that feeling. Chaz McCormick, obviously, face value looking at him, his stock move is to go to right center. That's why he stands closed, he wants the ball out over, and he wants to just manipulate it up the middle the other way. The only problem is, the more you're in this game with the best players in the world, they start finding your hole and they start driving balls inside. Let's get to the green and red. We did this a couple days ago. We got some bombs right here. Run it. Pause it. Mm. Okay, run that back and show me green, red. So this is the mindset of a, pause it. This is the mindset of Chaz McCormick. Everything in the red, I'm taking. Everything in the green, I'm going. That's the, that's the deal. I can't cover it all, and I don't think you can execute in here three straight times. Chapman can't. He's trying to rush this ball inside. It's middle, middle. So Chaz doesn't take his sights off middle, middle, run it. See you later, six RBIs. He's gonna hammer lefties. They're not gonna be able to get inside on him. I always told myself in that situation, it's gonna be a nanosecond harder for a left-handed pitcher to drive his fastball in if it has no cut on it than a righty standing on the third base side. So he can just, he's as comfortable as anybody against left-handers. Matter of fact, bring up the OPS leaders versus lefties. <laughs> I knew he'd be on this board. 
Highest weighted runs created plus versus left-handers. There's Goldie. Stock swing. Right center talking to Goldie at the WBC. He stares at the batter's eye. He picks out the right center part of the batter's eye or the left center part of the batter's eye, and that's where he plays. Teoscar Hernandez, oppo pop. William Contreras, same thing. And there's Chaz McCormick, Mookie, Jordan. The best players, best hitters for average and power are going to play with the big part of the field. Look at Jordan, the only lefty. Yeah, Jordan, and he can dance a little bit right there. So we got the OPS board versus the lefties, but what's changed? As you start to get confident, you can take some chances. You got to start showing a right-handed pitcher that you can drive him pull side. So 2-1, maybe he cheats a little bit, get into a Luis Castillo fastball. And this is stuff that you work on in the cage. How do you work on it? Pause this. He talks about taking flips almost across his face to stay through the baseball. I was a big curveball machine guy. I wanted to know that that curveball, you could turn it as hot as you want, almost like a slurve, thump, thump, in here. And I wanted to be here through the baseball. If there was any crossover, I couldn't hit it. If there was any bail, I couldn't hit it. It allowed me to kind of get my rhythm back. But I always go back to this. Chaz McCormick's a guy probably in high school that drove the ball out to right center. Don't expect him to be a guy who's going to dead pull everything because he's getting pitched inside. Don't come out of what you do. Stay in what you do, and eventually, as your career progresses, you start to pick off little spots. Don Mattingly, George Brett, these were guys that worked the ball the other way their whole career, and as they got better, I mean, obviously, Hall of Fame type stuff, they started pulling. Bring up his spray chart. And you see it, 2022, he's all over the board. But predominant power is moving right field in a minute made it plays. Power's still all over the field, but you're starting to see a little bit more pull out of his game. Maybe taking some chances, standing up a little bit taller, not having his back turned so much to the pitcher. So he's starting to figure it out, Robert. Yeah, at first I thought he might be involved in a trade. Yeah, but, uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't think no. they can afford to let him go now. I wouldn't let him go. No.